Okay, so you want to render um, the things that you have done so far, just so you can see what you've what you've done, and uh, you know, show off to all your friends downtown. You know that you that you have this cool little uh, new pad, and and pretend that it's really yours, and you're gonna go home to it. And they're gonna go, oh, that's cool. I like your furniture, and you're like, yeah, I just bought it. So uh, in order to do that, what we got to do is go to our layer manager, and not go to our layer manager yet. Let's hit F3 for me anyway, so I can move around a little bit faster. Yeah, that's good. Now I'll go to my layer manager, and I will unhide the ceiling and the floor, um, the windows, the trim, the doors, and the cabinetry. Actually, we don't need the cabinetry, because we're not doing the kitchen. But yeah, okay, so everything's unhid. Now what I need to do is I'm going to come in here and set up some kind of... Um, I don't know, some kind I'm gonna frame it in a way that you know I can see what I'm doing here. Alright, I'm gonna click this little button, this uh render scene dialog button. I'm gonna go to common, go to the bottom and make sure that you assign mental ray renderer right here. Okay, mental ray render and save it as your defaults. Okay, I'm gonna hit M to bring up my material editor. And I'm just gonna select this one right here and go to standard and I'm going to find mental ray. Double click it. And in the surface slot here, I'm going to click it. I'm going to go to ambient occlusion, the ambient reflective occlusion, and double click that. And for the sake of rendering time, I'm just going to leave it at 16. You can bump it up to like, you know, even 64 samples, I think, will, will be a nice result. Um, the maximum distance, I'm going to go like 25. The distance is basically just grid units. Um, spread about one. You could have left it as 0.75. That's cool. Um, reopen this scene dialog and go to processing. And I'm going to drag this. I'm a material override. So instead of assigning this to everything, I'm just going to drag this ambient occlusion to here and just do an instance. And um, rename this material AO. That's fine. Click OK. So now I have the AO in here. And what that will do is when I hit render, or when I hit render, it will automatically render out this um, shader instead of this one right here. All right, so that should do fine. Oh, also I'm open that again. Go to common and 640 by 480. That should be fast enough for me in, into this. And so when you have that and you have a nice little uh, you know setup that you like, you know, in here, just hit Shift Q, and that is the hotkey for rendering. So it will start rendering out. And you see all the samples, all the uh, the splotching and everything? That will go away if you up the samples in the ambient occlusion. You can see right now, this is what you're doing. So just up the samples in it. Um, you know, you can put a turbo smooth on this if you don't like the jaggedness of it yet. Um, you know, you can do all kinds of things, up your sample rate and everything. But this is how to do a very quick ambient occlusion pass to show people what you've done. Um, of course, you're going to want to up the sample rate, make it look pretty and all that. But you see how fast that really went. And um, we'll even we'll come around here. Say we'll get like a hallway kind of thing. Where we're standing in the hallway like this. Yeah. <laughs> and you get all artsy with it. Shift Q, and it'll start rendering for you. I don't know how fast it's going to go now, but yeah, there it goes. Of course, I think I'm probably not the smartest guy in the world. Um, I don't have my smart guy name badge on today. It seems that I was probably in a wall and not rendering, you know, what I was supposed to be. Hit F3 so I can see. All right. All right, so let's shift Q again and see if I can actually get it. There we go. Yeah, you got to put your smart guy name badge on, you know, when you do things sometimes because, you know, otherwise you look like an idiot. But yeah, you can do all different angles and stuff, and ambient occlusion will really, really, really sell the, realis the realism in your um, shots too uh, by adding in those soft shadows and the 
adding the darks and the lights in there really brings out the realism of course you got to uh, do it a little bit better than what I did but this is just to show you how to set it up in mental ray and it's really 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 quick and if you use um, production type quality and uh, up your samples in your shader everything will look really smooth and pretty uh, kind of similar to the pictures that I have when the um, DVD was released in the the little ambient occlusion black and white pictures that you see um, this that's the same this is the exact same process I did to get those pictures so I hope you enjoyed this one and stick around for the next tutorial and we're just gonna keep going crazy